I mean, stylistically, it's really just uh, an Omega Propiloff put into a, a Submariner case. Hey guys, it's Alex with Hammond Watch. Uh, if you enjoy short form, high definition watch content, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. The Ticino Diver Pro is a pretty interesting little watch. Um, make no mistake, the, the dial and hands are absolutely meant to mimic the Omega Propiloff. You can even see they have the printing on the dial. Um, the case very much kind of old Submariner style um, and great sizing. It, you're looking at a, a 40 millimeter case. Uh, you're 13 millimeters thick with a seven millimeter unsigned crown. Uh, the knurling on this uh, is incredible. Um, very sharp, easy to grip, uh, which is important when you have kind of those larger uh, crown guards. You really want to make sure that it takes minimal surface contact to get a good grip. Uh, and this certainly does a great job of that. The lug to lug distance is just over 47 millimeters. Uh, and it has a nice compact 20 millimeter lug. So I'm not showing you the watch on a stock strap. It, it's on a Barton Silicone Elite. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the stock options that come with this piece. Uh, these cut to fit silicone straps typically have pretty flimsy buckles. And this one's really no exception. Uh, the bracelet itself uh, has screw links and a bunch of micro adjusts, which is great for sizing. Uh, but on that same foot, it's just not very well executed. And, and then on top of that, it really doesn't match the watch. The case back on the watch is pretty sterile. Uh, basic specifications, a, a nice radial brushing. Uh, it houses Seiko's NH35 movement. So hacking, hand winding, a 41 hour power reserve and accuracy between minus 20 and plus 40. So I'm not in a blacked out environment and I didn't give it a super long charge and you can see the luminescence works very well on the dial hands uh, as well as the bezel. So here's the watch on my seven and a half to seven and three quarter inch wrist. Uh, it's got a great presence and size, could obviously go on a smaller or larger wrist, no problem. Uh, I think it's a, a pretty nice overall aesthetic and some great execution. The tricky part with a watch like this is that you know, five years ago, this would have been a really killer deal. Uh, but when the, with the rise of popularity uh, with AliExpress, you're seeing more and more kind of Asian built micro brands pumping out homage watches with uh, ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal and Seiko movements, all at and under even the, the $150 price point. Uh, now the website for these watches does list them at 150 USD. Uh, it also shows that everything is sold out, so I don't know if the company is still operational, uh, but you can grab these in new condition off of eBay right around the 130 USD mark, and I still think it's an attractive option. The mashup uh, of the two homages, uh, I think I prefer it to uh, a straightforward kind of rip off of one or the other. Um, it certainly would do a lot better for itself if you remove the, the Proploft text. Uh, but when you get that dial and handset away from that kind of signature case, uh, it does have kind of a, a full look of its own and, and wrapped around the Samariner bezel. Uh, I think it looks pretty sharp. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a like if you did, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. What?